Hi, my name is Dylan Theory and I'm a commissioning engineer at Dynamic Ratings. I'm here to show you how to install a Rogowski coil. The equipment you'll need is a digital multimeter, a tin snips or an angle cutter, a Phillips head screwdriver, a crimper, coax strippers, and an optional device is a heat gun. And the equipment you will need for the installation is the Rogowski coil, a preamp, coax cable, and a cover for the preamp. The first thing you'll want to do before installing the Rogowski coil is test the preamps. To do that, you take your digital multimeter and set it to diode mode. You'll test the red lead to the red screw and the black lead to the black screw. You should read somewhere around 0.7 volts. If not, the preamp should be replaced. After that, we'll take the black and the white wires from the Rogowski coil and run them through the brass fitting. And then push the rib plastic over the brass fitting till it's all the way down at the end. Now the next thing you'll want to do is connect the white wires together and the black wires together. So there's two ways of doing this. The first way is the solder, st solder style. You'll stick the solder connector over the top of one of the wires. You'll twist the wires together. And then you'll want to slide the connector back down over the wires. Now depending on the equipment you have on site, if you have a heat gun available, you will heat up both ends of the plastic until it melts to the wire, and then heat up the solder in the middle until it melts to the wire and then repeat for the other wire. The next type is the crimping style. You simply insert the connector onto one of the wires. and crimp it down. Make sure that it's snug. And then crimp the other end of the wire onto the opposite end of the connector. Next, we'll run the coax wire through the bottom of the preamp. And from here, we'll strip off the first layer of coax, 
revealing the shield. And then separate the shield from the center conductor. And then twist the shield. Strip the second layer of insulation from the center conductor. And now we'll want to crimp the red terminal onto the center conductor and the blue ring terminal onto the shield. Now we'll want to place the red ring terminal on the red screw and the blue ring terminal on the black screw. So you'll need your Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws. This is what it should look like when you're done. After this, we just push the remaining wires into the preamp and put our cover on. And this is what it should look like when finished. Next, you'll want to test the preamp once again by measuring it from the coax this time. So place your multimeter in diode mode again, and this time measure your red lead to the center conductor and your black lead to the shield, and you should once again read around 0.7 volts. The last step is installing the Rogalski coil on the bushing. So you'll want to install it underneath the last skirt of the bushing. Make sure that the white polarity dot faces up. And on a typical transformer bushing, you would run the strap through the buckle here. But in this case, since the bushing is smaller, 
We'll wrap it around and then zip tie it in multiple spots. Also note that Dynamic Ratings does not supply zip ties. And now the last thing you'll want to do is cut off the excess strap and the excess amount of zip tie. And that is how you install a Rogowski coil. I'm Dylan Theory with Dynamic Ratings. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more videos.